Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I am ridiculously glad. So, 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 so glad that you guys are here. Today I have a couple things on here. What do I want to play with? I think I want to play with the Sydney Grace Be Mine palette. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you saw that this actually showed up the day of you know, the hearts and the roses and the whatever, the Valentine's Day. My husband did have roses sent to me. I'm ridiculously grateful. I'm the least romantic person that you'll ever meet. And luckily, he doesn't require it. He's way more, way more romantic than I am. This is what the Sydney Grace Be Mine palette looks like. I love Sydney Grace quality, their product. It's not a horrible price point. I don't know where you can buy them locally. I've only ordered them online. But I thought maybe we would do a, a look. And if you guys want me to come back and try to do like three looks of this palette or more, let me know. Maybe I'll come back and do four. If you guys, somebody leave me a comment. Tell me if you actually are interested in this. Want to see how it looks on a lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist. And then decide whether or not this largely cool tone palette would be appropriate for you. So feel free to leave me a comment down below. Follow me over on Instagram if you want. I don't post there very often, but I do sometimes. We're going to take this mauve color right here. I want to use this one first. The, some of these pinks and, and this green shimmer in here are really drawing my attention. I need to get this. Hold on. I suck at these ASMR things here, but I'm using the, the mirror in this palette. And as far as eyelid primer goes, I have a little bit of the Jason Wu tinted primer on my lids because I filmed a different video a little while ago. I, I was already using it underneath my eyelids, which I like down here, which I really like using it for that. It's just a, it's a great product. I'm so glad that I picked it up, but I decided to try to use it as an eyeshadow base as well because it does have a little bit of a tint to it and it's very matte like straight hairs here and it's very matte which I think actually works pretty well for me. Some people really like um, super emollient eyeshadow primers. I don't. I find that it it skips a little on me. Okay I'm not normally like a pastel kind of a person but that shade is actually very lovely. I could see using something like this for work on a day that I wanted a real simple blush colored eyeshadow. Either a day that I'm using glasses or traveling for work something along those lines. I'm gonna go a little bit darker and go into Darling which is right here. The first one was called uh, soulmates. This one's called Darling. And we're just kind of into the crease and get up just a little bit. I feel like I'm probably going to use way more shades than I need to. How do I, how do I convince myself I don't need to use all the shades? Now, if you guys are not new here, I tend to do pretty simple, like, did I have that? I haven't had that on my face the whole time. Okay. Uh, simple monochromatic looks most of the time. I'm, I'm not, I don't, want to necessarily do a strictly monochromatic look right now. Okay, so there's these two shades in here that kind of lean a little bit more on the green side. This one seems slightly more like a gold taupe kind of undertone to it. I think it's going to look really beautiful with these brown mattes over here. And then you've got this one that is a green, slight gold shimmer, but a little bit more. This one's yeah, I mean, this one's more of a khaki color. Khaki, mm, I wouldn't even call it bronze. Maybe, I don't know. I, I suck at describing things. But this green right here is really beautiful. How would it look with the, with the pink? We're going to try. Beautifully creamy formula. So, so gorgeous. We're going to put a little bit on that. Light. Wow. And it kind of looks like, almost has like a silver undertone to it as well. I was thinking originally, does it look more gold? But I really do think it looks more silver. Wow, beautifully super pigmented. Sydney Grace knocks it out of the park with their formula. This is funny because, you know, when I when I use these products and it's like, oh my gosh, why would anybody do anything subpar? Why would anybody use something subpar? And then I find myself trying a palette sometimes from a brand that maybe either I'm, they either had a dud or, you know, I'm not really familiar with them and I try to convince myself that I like it. And then I come back and use something like this and it's like, this is, this is how you do shimmers. That's really kind of fun and pretty. Pinks and greens, huh? Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to use this super light pink right here on the inner, I don't know, what would I call this? Inner half maybe? Oh yeah, that was the right choice. Wow. So there is another largely pink and green palette that I'm waiting on uh, from Odin's Eye. I've never tried an Odin's Eye palette before. I love Angelica or Angelica, Angie. I love her channel. She's a Swedish gal that just recently moved to Houston? Houston or Austin? Houston, I think. I don't know. It's either Houston or Austin. Don't come after me if I, I don't know what's right here. I love her channel. She has so much energy. She did this collaboration with Odin's Eye and it, she did uh, a collaboration with Kaleidos before. I didn't get to it and it's it's been out of stock the whole time. 
That's actually really fun. I think I want to go in with a little bit of one of these darker shades down here. I think I might use this super dark, like espresso black. What was the last one called? So flirty was the inner one. Eye candy out here. I started with soulmates at the top and went into darling. Now, okay, so I've got, um, maybe I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. It's called pucker up. It's a, like a burgundyish brown color. Just give my eye a little bit more contour right out here. Probably a little bit bigger brush than I needed to use to keep it, try to control it. So anyway, she has this palette uh, that launched middle February, I think. And when I'm filming this, it's actually on its way here. This video will go up early March, mid-March maybe, mid-March. We'll say the Ides of March we'll aim for. And hopefully that palette will be here soon and I can film with it. I do have to travel next week in real time when I'm filming this, not, not when I post this up. So if it comes in while I'm gone, that's going to just delay it even more, but I'm only gone for four days. Okay. That's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Kind of pretty. I mean, it does feel pretty. Okay. I'm, this is a, this is a fun palette. I'm so glad I have this, you guys. Okay. I'm going to take, I, I almost lost it here because the packaging is black. I'm going to take the black on the tip of a pencil type brush and I'm just going to smudge it right against here. I don't want it to be too opaque. I just want to deepen up that lash line ever so slightly. And the last looks that I filmed, I got a little purple in my contact, but I don't really see it right now. I just feel like my eye, eye is a little dry and a little watery. Pretty, 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 pretty shades. Love this. So happy. Okay. I need to grab um, this silver shimmer right here called Smooch. And we're going to right here ever so slightly lightening up bringing a little bit of happiness to that inner corner. I am thrilled with this eyeshadow palette. How beautiful. Where is this made here? Made in the USA, 18 month shelf life, 27 grands, sydneygrace.com, S-Y-D-N-E-Y, grace.com, um, at sydneygrace.co. Looks like Orville, California. I think if I recall, maybe the last time I ordered from them was during some fires down there. So if I ever said anything uh, being frustrated that it took a little while, it was just me being insensitive. Please forgive me. Please, I, I should have been a little bit more conscientious of everything that was going on down there when I complained about it at all. But despite all that, every time I've ordered from them, and I have several palettes now from them, every time I've ordered from them, they've come steam condition. I haven't had any breakage or anything like that. So they pack things well. Um, US based indie brand. Yeah. I do know that their singles are very popular. I have a hard time with singles. I like, I'm lazy when it comes to palettes. I want somebody else to put them together for me. Give me some kind of guidance on how they're going to look. If I do singles or have to build your own, then I, I'm like a magpie and I get distracted and then I end up just reaching for a palette. So I do that with my Super Shocks too. I want to use them, but I find myself so enamored by palettes that I forget about them. It's because it's too easy. It's too easy to use them. So I'm like, oh, I need to be creative with eyeshadow palettes or like I like choices and options. And yeah. And the reality is the Super Shocks from ColourPop are phenomenal and they're so easy to use. And I don't find myself, I don't give them as much love as any. Mascara's on. Always makes everything come together and feel really pretty. I really like the way this look. That's so, it's kind of unusual for me to do a green and pink look, and I'm really feeling it right now. I think I needed that. I think I needed a little color in my life, and I think that little hint of green is really, really pretty. What do I want? I want to do something down below my eyelid. I did a little bit of that black, but you know what? I'm going to take this shimmer right here, which is called Cupid, and I'll give my eyes just a little something special with that down here. And yeah, my mascara is a little wet still, so I'm kind of pushing around my, my lash line. That's why you guys know, and you guys are, you know, patient with me because I am not a professional makeup artist, not a professional YouTuber, but boy, do I love this palette. Wow. If you haven't tried Sydney Grace, I suggest you do. Um, this is the Enduring Love palette. I think I've done a video using this one. Kind of wanted to see and compare the two because I think that's what people are going to ask is how does this compare to sort of last year's um, version. So aside from square pans instead of, instead of round, I feel like that sh shade right here is similar to this slightly, 
Uh, this shade right here is kind of similar to this. These two are ish similar. Mm, maybe, yeah, those, those two, these two. So there's some that look kind of similar. Maybe these pinks right here, this silver and that one, this brown and that brown. I mean, I think there are some overlapping colors. Sorry, I don't know if it's an all in frame or not. Uh, I feel like there's some palettes or some shades that are similar. If you guys want me to try to create a similar look between the two of these, if that helps you guys decide whether or not you need one or the other, let me know. Leave me a comment down below about that as well. But I can tell you, I'm super glad I have this. I'm glad I have it in my in my collection now. And I'm going to leave you guys with that fun, pretty eyeshadow look right now. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to come back and do more with this. Otherwise, I will just enjoy it and wish you guys a fantastic rest of your week, fantastic weekend, if depending on when I post this. My kind of little mascara on my nose. I hope you guys are doing really well. If you guys want to see more videos, more kind of like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell and so that you get notified when I upload, which is typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time, which would be 6 p.m. Eastern, if you are in the United States. And if you're not in the United States, hi, bonjour, hola, um, konnichiwa, uh, zdrasvitya. There you go. That's about, that's about all I can do. Buongiorno. I don't know. I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.